The earth beneath our feet can be unpredictable, and the results can be devastating. When the ground shakes, buildings can crumble, roads can split apart, and people can be injured or even killed. If you're living in the U.S., it's essential to be aware of the areas that are most prone to earthquakes so that you can be prepared in case of an emergency. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this exciting video, we are going to talk about the top 10 U.S. states that are at high risk of earthquake. Earthquakes are one of the most destructive and unpredictable natural disasters that can occur. They can cause significant damage to buildings, roads, and other infrastructure, as well as cause injuries and even fatalities. The United States is home to several active fault lines, making it one of the most earthquake-prone countries in the world. While earthquakes can occur in any state, some are at higher risk than others due to their geological location and history. Without further delay in the video, let's get straight into the video and show you the list of U.S. states that are at high risk of earthquake. 10. Oregon Oregon is at high risk of earthquakes due to its location along the Cascadia subduction zone, which stretches from Northern California to Southern British Columbia. This fault zone is capable of producing a megathrust earthquake of magnitude 9.0 or higher, which would cause widespread damage and impact the entire Pacific Northwest region. The state is also home to several other active fault zones, including the Portland Hills Fault, and the offshore Blanco Fracture Zone. The combination of seismic hazards, coupled with the state's geography and infrastructure, makes Oregon particularly vulnerable to the impacts of earthquakes, including landslides, lake faction, and damage to buildings, bridges, and other critical infrastructure. Preparing for and mitigating the impacts of earthquakes is essential for the safety and resilience of Oregon's communities. 9. Idaho Idaho is considered a high-risk area for earthquakes due to its location on the boundary of the Pacific and North American tectonic plates, which causes significant seismic activity in the region. The state has several active fault systems, including the Sawtooth Fault and the Teton Fault, which are capable of producing earthquakes of magnitude 7.5 or greater. Additionally, Idaho experienced a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in 2020 near the town of Stanley, which caused some damage to buildings and infrastructure. The risk of earthquakes in Idaho underscores the need for individuals and communities to be prepared and have emergency plans in place to mitigate the potential impacts of seismic activity. 8. Delaware Delaware is not typically considered a high-risk area for earthquakes, as the state is located far from any active tectonic plate boundaries or major fault zones. However, earthquakes can occur anywhere, and Delaware has experienced occasional seismic activity in the past due to its proximity to active regions along the East Coast, such as the Central Virginia Seismic Zone. In 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake that originated in Virginia was felt in Delaware and caused some minor damage despite the relatively low seismic hazard in the state. It's still important for residents and visitors to be aware of potential risks and to have emergency plans in place. Did you know this? Stay connected because there's still a lot to watch. 7. Montana While Montana is not typically considered a high-risk area for earthquakes, it still experiences seismic activity due to its location on the western edge of the North American tectonic plate. The state has a few active fault systems, including the Lewis and Clark Fault, which runs along the Rocky Mountains, and the Hagen Lake Fault, which caused a 7.3 magnitude earthquake in 1959 that resulted in significant damage and fatalities. Additionally, the region experiences occasional seismic activity due to nearby earthquake zones, such as the Yellowstone National Park region. Although Montana's seismic hazard is generally considered lower than other areas, it's important for residents and visitors to be prepared and aware of potential risks. 6. Utah Utah is considered a high-risk area for earthquakes due to its location on the boundary between the North American and Pacific tectonic plates, which causes significant seismic activity in the region. The state has experienced several large earthquakes in its history, including the 5.8 magnitude earthquake earthquake that struck the Salt Lake City area in March 2020, causing damage to buildings and infrastructure. Additionally, Utah has several active fault systems, including the Wasatch Fault, which is capable of producing earthquakes of magnitude 6.5 or greater. The risk of earthquakes in Utah underscores the need for individuals and communities to be prepared and have emergency plans in place to mitigate the potential impacts of seismic activity. How impressed are you by the above information? Also share your experience during earthquake. 5. Nevada 
Nevada is considered a high-risk area for earthquakes due to its location on the boundary of the Pacific and North American tectonic plates, which causes significant seismic activity in the region. The state has experienced several large earthquakes in its history, including the 1954 Dixie Valley earthquake, which had a magnitude of 6.8 and caused significant damage. Additionally, the state has several active fault systems, including the Walker Lane, which is a major zone of seismic activity that runs through western Nevada. While earthquakes in Nevada may not be as frequent or intense as those in California or Alaska, the potential for significant damage and disruption is still present, highlighting the importance of preparedness and awareness for residents and visitors alike. 4. Alaska Alaska is another state in the United States that is at a high risk of earthquakes. It is located in the seismically active region of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a zone where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. Alaska has experienced some of the most significant earthquakes in the history of the United States. In 1964, a massive earthquake with a magnitude of 9.2 struck South Central Alaska, resulting in widespread destruction and loss of life. It is considered to be one of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded in the world. Alaska has several major fault systems, including the Denali Fault and the Aleutian Trench, which are known for producing strong earthquakes. The Aleutian Trench, which runs along the southern coast of Alaska, is particularly active and has been responsible for numerous earthquakes over the years. The state's geology is also influenced by the presence of many active volcanoes, such as Mount Redoubt, which last erupted in 2009. The potential for volcanic eruptions in Alaska poses additional risks to residents and infrastructure in the state. Please share your ideas in the comments and stay tuned. Maybe we are just jumping into an end. 3. Washington. Washington State is at high risk of earthquakes due to its location in the Pacific Northwest region, which is part of the Ring of Fire, an area with a high concentration of active volcanoes and tectonic activity. The state is home to several active fault zones, including the Cascadia Subduction Zone, which is capable of producing a megathrust earthquake of magnitude 9.0 or higher. In addition, the state's geography and infrastructure make it vulnerable to the impacts of earthquakes, with potential for landslides, lick faction, and damage to buildings bridges, and other critical infrastructure. The risk of earthquakes in Washington underscores the importance of earthquake preparedness and resilience planning. 2. Hawaii Hawaii is considered a high-risk area for earthquakes due to its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is a region of high seismic activity. The islands were formed by volcanic activity, and the movement of the tectonic plates beneath the Pacific Ocean can cause significant earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The largest earthquake in Hawaii's history occurred in 1975, with a magnitude of 7.7. The state has also experienced several other notable earthquakes, including a 6.9 magnitude quake in 2018 that caused widespread damage on the Big Island. As a result of these ongoing seismic hazards, Hawaii has strict building codes and emergency management plans in place to help minimize the impacts of earthquakes on residents and visitors. The state with highest risk is California. California is considered to be the state with the highest risk of earthquakes in the United States due to its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region known for frequent seismic activity. California's geological history is marked by several major faults, including the San Andres Fault, which is responsible for some of the most significant earthquakes in the state's history. The San Andres Fault runs through much of California and is responsible for the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which had a magnitude of 7.8 and resulted in widespread destruction and loss of life. The fault is also responsible for the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, which had a magnitude of 6.9 and caused significant damage in the Bay Area. Other notable fault systems in California include the Hayward Fault, which runs through the densely populated East Bay region, and the Southern California Fault System, which includes the San Jacinto Fault and the Elsinore Fault. This was all about today's video. See you soon in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, we would love to hear how much you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment. Also share your view if you have any experience during earthquake. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more awesome videos like this in the future.